All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're connecting from. Yes, uh, yes. And as yes. you're connecting, I want you guys to let me know where you're connecting from. If you're connecting from Chicago, let me know you're from Chicago. If you're from New York, let me know. If you're from Houston, Texas, let me know where you're connecting from so that we can actually give a shout out to you uh, yes. by the grace of God. Right now, at this moment, my location is Houston, Texas. Yes, yes. Beautiful yes, place, yes, beautiful yes. weather. Beautiful everywhere. Everything yes. looks so beautiful. All right. So good morning. With me on the show today uh, is Pastor Benga. Show me uh, the man of God himself from uh, the lead pastor of the Destiny Star International here in Houston, Texas. By the grace of God, man of God, say hi to your fans out there. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we are so glad to have Pastor Shola here. For the weekend, it has been very, very powerful weekend. Uh, last weekend, if you miss it, oh my God! And you are in Houston, <laughs> oh, oh my God! I'm sorry. Forget it. I'm sorry. We will try to bring him back again, but <laughs> man, you miss this one. Uh -huh. All right. So, so please come out next time. Mm. It, it was great. It was excellent. I mean, mm. uh, we have been doing program in Destiny Star. This one was different. It was mm. different. I mean, so. Um, well, we look forward to great things. We look forward to hearing so much of your testimony. Mm. Those of you who attended, yes. uh, and more of it will be coming. Pastor Sh Victor, uh, Victoria and I say, uh, you need to come every <laughs> every <laughs> <three> <laughs> month. <laughs> Let's do another one again. Uh, you another know, one every first, month. You know, first quarter of next of year, next year. Uh, by mm. God's grace. Yes. We are here by God's grace. Yes. So we're yes. going to be doing that. I appreciate you guys doing that. Thank you guys for <laughs> allowing me to come by the grace of God. I yes. want to say thank you to Olori Lola. Oh, Olori. I'm, telling you, I'm not sure maybe she's watching right now, but Olori, Olori Lola. Olori is one awesome. of the kind, man. Awesome, awesome, man. awesome. She's not, she's not one of you guys that will say, I'm coming and won't come. This woman drove almost about four hours to come into the program, stay in Houston, Texas for two days uh, before leaving. Mm. Okay, when you talk about fans, when you talk about people that are supporters, that's what they do. That's so I really thank God for her life and I bless God for what she, uh, I mean, how, how, how God has used her uh, to be a very good supporter, a good supporter, a solid backbone, you know, for my ministry. With By the God. way, this is yeah. my house. Pastor Shola has been showing you that. guys, like, <laughs> taking my house to the whole world, you know. <laughs> I no. just want to stay cool in my little place. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen? This is a mansion. Yeah. <laughs> when you talk about a mansion, that's where I am right now. I'm inside a mansion. I, I got a four-car uh, four, four car garage outside. <laughs> this is no joke. I'm not, I'm not telling you. That's enough. That's enough. No, no, no. I got to say. We are here for where you. you. Where you go yes. to the other side, where you go like this, there is a big field. A big field where you can play basketball, play anything at the back. It's not, and then when you look at the cars in the garage, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. don't mind it. He yes, does, you was supposed to. He does doing his heavy sick. This is not heavy sick. I'm not you. No. Oh, Father Baker, why are you? You are the one that's holding this thing. I didn't want to tell them. I want to tell them this is my new house. But now you have, you have brought it up. <laughs> we have to open up the whole no. stuff. Are you saying that you're putting my house all over the whole? <laughs> I'm with your house on international TV. <laughs> man, man, man. Oh, we thank God for what God has done for you, though. It's wonderful. We thank, God, thank God. God. And God will continue to promote amen, you amen, in amen, Jesus' amen, name. Amen. All right. So uh, uh, today, without wasting time, I, I want us to go straight to the uh, business of today. We're talking about, uh, you know, issues affecting relationships. Uh, your home, your marriage, even relationship before marriage. Like yesterday, I canceled a couple. And uh, during the counseling session, I, I found out that uh, the woman is not really comfortable uh, because she's looking at what's going to happen to my money. Mm -hmm. uh, the husband is a kind of, the boyfriend is a kind of a, um, a, a strong guy who wants to control the money. So, and she is kind of like a little afraid what will happen to my money mm -hmm. and all that stuff. So, uh, I believe we need to talk about this so that a lot of you guys that are out there, you're being... Uh, you are a, a little afraid about that, or probably uh, you got issues in your relationship based on money. Uh, so that's why I brought Pastor, uh, you know, Pastor Benga here today to be able to give us a little bit of ideas and, you know, what can we do to be able to settle these financial issues in our, in our relationship. Yeah, Pastor Shola, thank you. Um, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate you. We've seen some of your comments here. Thank you, thank you. 
Uh, so on the area of uh, money, I think, uh, you know, we, we had a great time for the couples uh, summit on Saturday and uh, you know a lot of questions came uh, came up as social too was able to do a lot of counseling uh, one of the I think you know we said you know a lot of things that can destroy marriage mm -hmm. uh, as social talk about sex mm -hmm. and the second aspect is money mm -hmm. uh, money is an issue it is really really is, uh, an issue uh, there is another point of insecurity. The man is making more money, or mm -hmm. the woman is making more money, almost, and the almost, man is always like, that the, the woman is making more money. Yes, that will cause a problem. That is always mm -hmm. that can cause a problem. Then yeah. the man is making money. The woman doesn't know what is going on, and the woman is bringing the little saint, and is like, okay, bring your money into my account, and I control everything. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I, 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 you know, I'll say for example, for money issue in marriage the first thing that must be the foundation of it all mm -hmm. is trust. trust just like relationship like uh, you know everything about relationship marriage relationship trust is everything mm -hmm. particularly when it comes to money transparency and trust is the key you know can i trust you you know will you not just take this money and blow it up mm -hmm. uh will i be able to have access to the money as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, do I know how much you are earning? Mm -hmm. You know, you know how much I'm earning. Do you? Do I know how much you are earning? But, uh, but don't you think it's weird for me and somebody to be married and mm -hmm. I don't know how much they earn? <laughs> I really don't believe anybody <laughs> should ask such the question uh, if you are husband and wife. But uh, we find out that it's happening. It's, Really, a lot of crazy stuff are really happening. It's mm. unbelievable. Guys. <laughs> Guys. You know, <laughs> you know, I, all these things are really happening. And most of you are listening right now. You don't even know what your husband is earning, or you don't even know Just what your wife is earning. Just imagine <laughs> you living you know, inside the same house with a man. Yeah, you guys are paying bills. Mm -hmm. The guy is going to work every day, coming back, and then you don't know how much is earning. And you as a husband don't know how much your wife, wife is saying. Yeah. You see, relationships are supposed to be together. Like I learned something from you yesterday. Mm. You sat down over here and you were talking. You said, as for me and my wife, it's all about we. That if my wife is looking for a job, I say, we are looking for a job. That's right. If my wife gets a job, I say, we, go, we just got a job. And, and, and I love that language. It's and we, 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 we pray about our job, our businesses. Yeah. You know, like you see me, in nature, I say our. It's just like that, you know, our car, our house, yeah. our business, our job. If yeah. she's looking for a job, for example, now, she, you know, she wants a supervisory job, we're praying for it. Yeah. It is, we are praying. I was, you know, we're praying for the interview. Yeah. We're praying, if I needed a contract for my business, I said, we are praying for this contract, it has to happen. Because yeah. I believe that, we believe that the money come in. To the family. For the family. Yeah. If she's making more, it's still coming in. Yeah. If I have the, if I give my wife money, I was telling you yesterday, yeah. if I give her money, sometimes not because she needs it, she knows where's the money, but she just wants to feel that oh, her husband gave her something. something. And do you know what? The yeah. money still come back. So they because have. she will go out, go to the mall, go to the store and buy something and bring it home. Yeah. I'm so surprised that I give her money and she still uses it to buy something. For the kids or bring this home and even if she use it on herself you know what I'm saying? it still look do like you know, wow everything you know, still come to us do you know if you want to cheat a woman <laughs> let me tell you how to cheat a woman all right take your whole salary 100 percent of your salary yeah. give it to that woman and then every morning you wake up you say honey i need 500 dollars <laughs> she'll give it to you by the time you will collect 500 500 you will have collected times two of your salary <laughs> oh tell me about it <laughs> She will just continue giving you the money, and her own money will be included by the time she's giving you. But if you are the kind of a man that is always holding back, mm -hmm. or you want to control the money coming into the house, mm -hmm. um, if she uh, needs to buy something, you will give her two dollars. Two dollars. Uh, she needs to give offering in church. You give her two dollars. Uh, she needs to go and buy groceries. That is tough. <laughs> I know, I so yeah. you are the one. I don't even think my wife have that kind of temperament. <laughs> <laughs> so how do, you, how do you, how do you, how do you cope with such a kind of a man? A man. You know, many people, many people that are listening, many people that are listening, many people, many people that are listening here. They, they, they have, they have issues, man. Every one of us yeah. have issues. 
Oh, All right. Yeah. So, uh, but how do we? Let's go back to the point. So, so coming to your question, yeah. how do we do it? Number one, you mm. have to know that there are different. Don't stick to one aspect, depending on who you people are. Yeah. And when we started, we, uh, I happen to have a mentor. Actually, the same uh, man of God I was telling you this morning yeah. about helping out okay. with his yeah. kid. Mm -hmm. So he sat down with us and gave us different strategy. Yeah. and say we can choose one that's really really good so and i'm going to talk about it here because i talk about it in the you know yeah. um so when you come to your finances you want to decide which one works for both of you yeah. because we have understood uh, we understand that you know different homes are different yes. different people different temperament mm -hmm. different people how you upgrading and how you relate with each other yes. so find out which one works for you so there is a strategy of you know, all hundred percent in one account. Some people do it. One hundred percent of the two, of the two in go one into account. one account and we spend from there. Okay. Uh, you know, the challenge with that is that one person can be a spender, and the and other person is not. It's not. So the spender can just go and be shopping online, and the <laughs> other person is dying. He's like, Why? You're just blowing up all the money. What's up with you? <laughs> it's, our, it's our money. <laughs> and it's our money, right? Oh, but God. we also have our bill to <laughs> pay. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. You know? So, but I think, I think most of the time, women spend a lot more than men. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. You know, you know I mean, there are some men. Me, I used to be a spender. <laughs> you don't feel <laughs> You know, when I see money, I want to go. You want to spend. I want to go to the market. Okay. <laughs> and buy some toys. God has helped me okay. uh, to some extent by God's grace. You yeah. know, so so then there is also a strategy okay. that you know both of you can have an account. Then percentage. Okay. You can say, okay, uh, we put fifty percent of my piece, fifty percent of yours here. Okay. So and 50 of yours, 50 of 50 mine. 50 of mine. Okay. We use that to take care of some bills. Okay. Or you take care of this, uh, you know, other things. Okay. Or you find out what is our total bills and you put it in percentages. Okay. And you put it in one account. Yeah. Whatever remains, everybody can go to market with that. Okay. You know, with okay. that, you can go to market with that or do something with it. Say, but, but, but with that so kind I don't of... have to be giving you $2, $3. But with that kind of, with that kind of arrangement... Yeah. Uh, they, they have to have another account called a savings account, right? Yes. Or do you want them to have individual savings account? Um, because if they want to go on vacation, yes. how would they be able to do that if it's just only the bill money that they put into one account? I, I mean, you, you know, this can also be based on percentages. Okay. You cannot, just, some people put only the bills money. Okay, yeah. there, there's another one. I'm coming to step by to step. Okay. Yeah, it can be bill money. We put it together. Okay. This account we use it in paying our bills. bills. Okay. okay. Now these other accounts can also be available okay. for savings. This okay. is for extra that we have. Another percentage go to that place. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Business. You can look. You look can at look this. Fool me. 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 I can come back to that too. You can, we can come back to that too. That is that, is that strategy too. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we are not with that. I'm a spender myself. I, I Pastor say Benjamin Beckley. <laughs> which one do you choose? Which one you did? <laughs> so, so you have another account for savings, for taking care of life insurance, yes. other things that has to do emergency yes. and all that. That goes in there. Then you have. A percentage too that go okay. for spending or the rest we use it to take care of ourselves oh, yeah. and then if um then you know i mean some other thing can impact that let's say okay. this other person do not have a job mm -hmm. what do we do okay. then you have to go back go back to budget and draw out the budget so yeah. because now no percentage is coming from the other person right okay. so so you now this works if the other person is working Okay. And there's a percentage coming. So if one of your spouse is not coming, working, so 100% come from one person. Yeah. Then you have to redraw your budget and find out you, you how is it. You said something yesterday. Pastor <laughs> <laughs> said, if you want to go by my own income alone, <laughs> we'll be living in San Tumedro. <laughs> But if you want us to live in 16 bedroom, yeah. you better bring your own money. 
Yeah. So if we look at that, mm -hmm. like some people are actually leaving comments here. Uh, Ov James is like, I support what Fumi said. Okay. Hold your money and hold your money. Mm -hmm. um, majority of the Christians of the day, that's mm -hmm. what they pick. Okay. I've cancelled a lot of people. I, you know, I thank God for we pastors. We pastors want to promote unity. That's right. You know, you especially, uh, you know, your church members, I don't know probably, uh, they know much about you. Mm -hmm. But I think you should tell them more about the way you run your family. I've been here now for three days or so, mm -hmm. and I see the kind of unity, the kind of love, the kind of togetherness that you guys display. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, members are supposed to be able to emulate and copy this uh, from you guys. But majority of the Christians of outside um, that have canceled, they, they always want to go by, you hold your money, I hold my money. They, I mean, like that's, that, that's one too is possible. But, but is it biblical? Uh, um, you know, the challenge with that is, yeah. well, what we're talking about, you won't yeah. trust each other. That's what I'm saying. That, yeah, that's, that's, that's the that's challenge I, with that. We build, we pay. But, <clears throat> but the thing is, it is also possible that both of you are transparent to each other. Yeah. Okay, somebody can... You know, because if you have a spouse, yeah. like we talked about yesterday, peace reign, right? Mm -hmm. Peace is the most important thing. Okay. And trust. trust. Okay, I want to be in control. I'm making money, I want to be in control. Mm -hmm. You are making money, you want to be in control. Yeah. Okay, I should be able to say, hey, you know, how much are you making? Okay. We know how much you're making, you know how much I'm making. Mm -hmm. Then what can happen with that is, another it's, it, the strategy you cannot bring in is, what bill are you going to be taking care of? Okay. What bill am I going to be taking care of? Okay. Now, there are women out there who say, you know what, you take care of all the bills, I'll just be making my money and keeping it. So your then, money is our money, my money is my money. But, but the one thing that should happen is, as long as you can keep that unity of our in place. Even in that situation? It, yes, you can. You can. This is how it can work. In that okay. situation, you keep hours in place. Some people just say that I don't just want anybody to touch my money. Okay. Even though it's our money. Okay. But they can say, I give you freedom to know how much I'm making. Okay. I give you freedom to, you can have access to my account anytime. But you can Did you understand? Money then, but even if you cannot withdraw, they can give you access to withdraw money, but they are in control. Okay. The important thing is that the person want to be, majority of the people just want to be in control. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. But what you want to guide against in that aspect mm -hmm. is, don't hide anything from your spouse. Let them know how much you're making. Let them know how much you're making. Let them know and how also much your bank contribute, account. be part of the overall. Like the I say, if my wife decided, you know that, there was a time she said, you know, I don't even want to work anymore, you know, I shouldn't be working. I said, you I'm should. So we can't do. <laughs> Wait now. I'm <laughs> waiting. I said, I said, you don't have to. That's what I told her. Mm. I said, I don't want her to feel that she has to. Okay. And I said, but if you don't, if we don't have your own income mm. taking care of some of the bill, mm -hmm. you know, instead of, maybe instead of living on four bedroom, mm -hmm. instead of living on four bedroom, yeah. Maybe we should do two bedroom because that is what my own income can take care of. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think that's just gonna be the difference. Comfortably. But, yeah, comfortably. <laughs> Maybe instead of driving this kind of car, let's we just go. <laughs> we cut just, your, your code according to my thing. Yeah, you cut your code according to. So we just do based on mine, you know. Okay. If it's one bedroom that is rich, we we'll just do that. You know, and we just keep moving, moving on like that. You somebody, know? somebody here is saying, he said, if you give a man all your money, you will use, he will use your money to take care of his siblings. Well, you know, I don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Yeah. I don't believe that he will use you know, all his money because you know all this that we're saying. There's still few things that have to be in place. Yeah. Love is in place. Mm -hmm. You know, trust is in place, yeah. and and uh, and transparency is in place. Mm -hmm. When those things are together, yeah. and commitment to each other, yes. when those things are there, you know, I mean, my wife send money from her money from the percentage that is left to her. Wow. When she's yeah. sending to her parents, she always yeah. let me know, even it, though it's, it's our own percentage. Yes. Then she will now say, that is the formula, we use percentage formula, just to let you guys know. Okay, okay. so so she will now, she let me know. And when she says, she say we are send, we send this money wow. to you. Wow, she used you, the word, I hope you guys are listening, hope you guys are listening. The same thing to my own 
people, people too. we spend this money to you. And okay. you know, my wife has access to the invoice of our company. She knows wow. how much the company is making. Yeah. She, in fact, she knows my own social security number of, and I don't know complete of us. Of our, like, likewise, <laughs> she myself. can actually call and say my name is Benga Show, and they will give her information. <laughs> they will give her and give my date of birth. Uh, yeah, and, and me, I can't call to say my name is Victoria. They will, they will say, say are you are you a lady? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have problem? <laughs> Where is your location? Let's go pick you up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's one, another thing I, I look at when, when it comes to family and uh, money is that, you know, in, 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 in the Western world here, uh, people believe that you bring 50%, that bring 50%. Uh, but when we come to the Bible, you know, when we were very young, they, they taught us that a man should be the provider. Mm -hmm. That was the, the mentality, the brain, the, you know, the knowledge we brought mm -hmm. into this country. Probably that was what we were living by in Nigeria, that a man should be the provider. provider. The woman should just be the homemaker mm -hmm. and all that stuff. But, you know, how do we balance all this up? Because I, I think Bible should be our standard. That's right. But it seems like we are, we are actually uh, using experience right now, what's going on in the country we live to, to actually... Uh, run our lives. Mm -hmm. How do we balance the scripture as in like a man should provide for the home, not the woman? I, I mean, when you talk about a man should be a provider, yeah. that is key. Yeah. Now, your wife is an help meet for you. Okay. That, that means that don't place the burden. Okay. The burden. That's what I translate it to be. Now, in the now at this that we live, yeah. translate it to be that don't place the burden of providing on, on the wife. On the wife. That means, oh, you know, my wife has a good job. I can just sit down at home not doing nothing. Holding the, oh. you know, remote control for the CNN. I'm watching CNN. <laughs> watching CNN all day. <laughs> you know, yeah. women are not wired like that. Okay. You know, women want their man to go out there, make money and come out. Even if you don't make enough like her, yeah. but provide. Do something. Do something. Provide food. Provide whether electricity bill. Mm -hmm. Provide something. You should be the one that Able is to wired contribute. to provide. Yeah. So, but if you don't do anything, it's like you're making a half to mm -hmm. be the provider. The provider. That's different. You know, be you know, provide something is different. But you have to be the one to provide. Mm -hmm. That's the difference between what I'm discussing right now. Mm -hmm. You know, I can say my okay, my wife said she don't want to work. You know, yeah, yeah. but you know what? You have we we will not have to live based on whatever I, I can I'm provide. Yeah. Okay. You know, yeah. but if I now say I'm not going to work, you just go to work. Then yeah. you that is not biblical. That's not biblical. That's why I tell so ladies, I, I want... don't get married to a man yeah. that doesn't have a job. Even if it has to go to Burger King or yeah. McDonald's and flick burger, yeah. you know, he has to be able to provide something. That's what I always want people to understand. You always want to choose a part of Bible that you feel like you want to connect with and then flip it all around and say, this one is this, this one is this. Now, when it comes to provision... The Bible says a man who is not able to provide for his family is worse than an infidel, okay? Now, but in the life that we live right now, the country that we live, oh, yeah. the, the income of a man cannot sustain the family. <clears throat> That's so where the helpmate is needed. It's going to be challenging. Yeah, very challenging. Yeah. So if the Bible says a man, a man, I mean, the woman is the helpmate to a man, mm -hmm. it means that the woman should be able to support, support. the man the to be support. able to, yeah. And then you guys can live a better life. But the most important thing, like Pastor Binga said, is when you guys agree, and there is transparency, and there is trust in that relationship. You show your husband how much you're making. You show your wife how and much you're making. And there is commitment to yeah. the, In fact, another important thing, commitment to the success of yeah. your home. Not from one side, yeah. both of you. Yeah. Because if I'm not making money, and she, you know, I'm, we're deciding, oh, who will make more money, who is not going to make... Yeah. Our children may suffer. They will suffer. Our lifestyle will suffer. Yeah. You know, uh, helping other people will suffer. Mm -hmm. uh, being part of a church that we, we are building, we yeah. suffer mm -hmm. because we are committed to the success of okay. ourselves, okay. of our home. I want I want to actually want to change one thing that you said. <clears throat> okay. You said don't marry a jobless man. It is possible for you to marry a jobless man if that man has got a vision. Uh, you know, the only way you test the man that has a vision mm -hmm. is when you see the man is committed, is doing something. 
Okay. I just believe that. He may not have, Before, a, he may not have a, 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 a real job. A real job or maybe the but person is a big guy. He has, yeah. But have something. If it is who by you are doing, let's know that something. you are doing yeah, something. He's doing something. You know, there are a lot of things that you can do, whether you want to register you, you to do a lift, to. you want to do so, you want to be a cleaner, yeah. just get something doing. Don't be looking for a man with six pack. Six pack looking fine, handsome with nice goatee, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> always going to the barbing salon to trim his goatee, <laughs> and he's always going around with cologne and everything, and looking sharp yeah, and everything. they're looking and, sharp, but and, they don't have and, a job. And the next thing is that he will say, Borrow me 500. Hey, yeah, you know yeah, yeah, and then you good. borrow him 500 he's down. He's an handsome guy. You know I love him. He's handsome. You know, and he's then good. he will take he's picture good. with you. And, say, <laughs> and you will put it on face and say, my baby. All right? <laughs> and so, we are right. We are the one feeding him. And you think you are the only one feeding the guy. They are, you have like about 17 other girls yeah. in town that are feeding that same fine boy. Mm -hmm. That fine boy without a job will ruin your life. That's true. All right? Will ruin your life. So you need to marry someone. Before you get married, you have to first of all know that this guy has got a future. He's got something to provide with. And that's why I tell people, before you as a man will get married, you have to first of all go to school. It's part of preparation. Why do you go to school? You go to school not because you want to speak English. You go to school because you want to get a job and be able to actually bring home money. So the moment you finish school, go and get something doing. If you cannot get a job as a lawyer, you can't get a job as a doctor. Go and get a job as a Uber driver. Go and get a job as a cleaner somewhere. Go and get a job as anything. Mm -hmm. Start from somewhere to be able to provide for your home. All right? The moment you are able to bring your money, then you cannot go ahead and just find a woman that you can actually bring into the house, and the two of you will join hands together and make your life worth it. All right? So the issue of money, sir, has killed a lot of people. I mean, it, it, it does ruin a lot of family. The woman think I'm the only one doing everything. Mm -hmm. And she's tired. She goes out, do, come back, take care of the children. Yeah. I mean, we understand if you have an uh, you know, issue, maybe you're handicapped mm -hmm. or disabled, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and I think your wife will understand with you too, you know, mm -hmm. that you used to be very active and up doing, and most women know that. They will just say, wow, my husband used to be this. Oh, he, he would go out be a and provider. Do, you know, yeah. and that. Or maybe you just lost your job, okay. and you are also trying to get into Another the job thing. market. Yeah. You know, not that you just feel like uh, I'm not going. I just see that one. Uh, another thing is, um, uh, I, I, I'm just thinking about a, a, a point right now mm -hmm. that you know came to mind. But maybe I, I'll remember again. But okay. don't just uh, feel like you just have to. She just have to be uh, the hundred percent. Women generally don't like that, and that can ruin your family, can ruin your home, uh, and and you know, and you know, talking about providing, you have to provide in every direction. Provide sex too. Of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah. We have. You provide emotionally. You provide yourself. You provide financially. You provide uh, sexually. Yes. You provide spiritually. You as a man supposed to be the spiritual head of your family. Absolutely. You are supposed to be there when it comes to sex. I was actually talking to one person yesterday. Um, when was the last time you guys uh, had sex? I was like, uh, I was like, what? Is this something you have to think about? <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't happen yesterday. Yeah, it didn't happen two days ago. Two days ago. Two days ago. Two days ago. <laughs> what? I, I, I said, are you supposed to be thinking about how, when was the last time you had sex? So I turned away from the husband and I turned to the wife. I said, what was the last time? She said, three months. Gee. Women remember dates. The guy I didn't remember was like, ah. Uh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you have to provide. Now, you are not providing spiritually. How can your family grow? Mm. You are not providing financially. How can you sustain your family? Mm -hmm. uh, emotionally, you are not providing. You can't keep your marriage together. All right? So, so many. But let's, let's, flip the, let's flip the coins around. Now, for a man that is a provider, who is working, you know, very hard working man, mm -hmm. bringing home money and all kinds of stuff, but the wife is not supportive. As in like, okay, the man is actually spending 100% of his money on bills, on everything. And so many times the wife will go and buy something and bring the bill home to the man. Mm -hmm. I said, well, if you don't pay it, there will be trouble in the house. How do we cope as a man? A lot of men are in actually this kind of a situation right now that they call me and they share with me, my, my wife is not supportive. She's working as a nurse. But she spent her money on party clothes. Oh, she's working. Shoes. Yeah. I thought you said shoes. she's not working. No, she's working, but she's not just supporting. 
You know, she's spending her money on clothes, shoes, bags, and all kinds of stuff, traveling everywhere. So the man is stuck, is left to pay the bills, take care of the children, and all of that stuff. Uh, they are not interested in getting divorced. Mm -hmm. They don't want to go to that direction. So how do will they cope, you know, with this financial mess? I mean, it's going to be very tough, but I'll come back to transparency. Yeah. Let the lady know how much you are earning. Okay. Let the lady know, hey, let's let's calculate our bills. Okay. In this hour, let's let's draw out the budget. Yeah. Okay. So by the time you draw our budget and you see negative, you see, we can I can't support your lifestyle. Mm. You know, like I said, you know, if you want us to live based on what I have, this mm. is how much we can. Maybe seventy percent of my income. Yeah. I pay tight there. We save twenty uh, twenty percent. Yeah. We pay tight 10%, save 20%, uh, 10% for emergency, 10% mm -hmm. for something else. That is how much we can. Mm -hmm. So she sees it. Mm -hmm. If she wants to go buy shoe and everything, we, we pay all the bills. Mm -hmm. If that can pay all the bills, good. If you cannot pay all the bills, downsize to whatever mm -hmm. you can afford. Mm -hmm. But if the person, if the uh, woman now wants a bigger lifestyle, mm -hmm. bring money. Let us do it together. Mm -hmm. But I know it's going to be tough that you find out your wife is making more money and she's doing it and she's not supporting yeah. you. Marriage is supposed to be let us do it together. Together. <clears throat> let us do it together. Mm. Let us do it together. But bring something home. You know, uh, even though our own financial structure it's not like 100% all of us spend, but it's like 100% because mm -hmm. we both have bills that we pay and we have places that we put percentages yeah. and we spend for, from that and everything. Yes. But because I do business, mm -hmm. and sometimes business can be slow, yeah. so I'll tell my wife, hey, babe, business is slow. Let's pray, pray. You know, we need more money. Mm -hmm. I don't say I need more money. I just say we need more that's, money. That's what it's supposed that. to be. Yeah. You know, okay. I say we need more money to come in so that we yeah. can be able to do yeah. some of these mm -hmm. things. And, you know, as you say, oh, we're praying. God is going to make a way, you know, and all those things. Yeah. So that is how it's supposed to be. So because once you are committed together, run yeah. together. Of course. Uh, and I don't think, you know, if you're making money, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not going to stop my wife from buying whatever she desires. But what it is important is that she knows that we both have commitment. We both mm -hmm. have responsibilities. Yeah. Yes. And yes. those responsibilities have to be met if we yeah. don't want to be under the bridge. We're going to continue to pay bills. <laughs> We're going to continue to pay bills until we die, right? We're going to continue and to pay And you bills. know what? Let me tell you, the, the more you grow, mm -hmm. the more bills we pay. You're going to continue to pay bills. You know, forever. the children are growing. Yeah. You know, I mean, you buy milk all the time. <laughs> yeah. The children are growing. Then Christmas is coming. The more yes. they grow, the more they demand for more things. See, I noticed, I was talking to you today. I noticed many people are broke right now. And they don't want to spend money because Christmas is coming. They have a lot of commitment. They have to buy this. They have to buy this for their wife, children, family, mm -hmm. this and this and this and that. We need to plan for all these. And you have people calling you from Nigeria. Yeah, don't wait. Don't wait until yeah, Christmas will come. <laughs> okay, don't wait until Christmas will come before you plan and say this is it. Don't wait until vacation time to now be looking for money to go on vacation and be using credit card to go on vacation. You have to plan it. Plan you have it. to plan yeah. it. It's, it's all about planning. You know, you yeah, plan, plan it. your finances, plan what you want to do. Like the, year, the New Year's almost yeah. here. You know, Pastor Victoria and I will see that. Pastor Begley, Pastor Begley is broke like broker. He <laughs> was really broke, man. I broke. You know, so, I mean, so, so, so we, we discuss our finances. Yeah. You know, and what do we want to make next year? Mm -hmm. You know, what are the things that we're going to do? Where are we going yeah. on vacation next year? You see what I'm saying? You know, so because we need, what is the date for our vacation next vacation year? Next we plan it ahead of ahead. time. So that if she's have to do something at her work, she can block it, I can yeah. block it too, yeah. from all my appointments in business and all those yeah. things. So we put everything in order. So yeah. all our financial commitments mm -hmm. for the year, uh, mm -hmm. we set it ahead of time. Okay. I mean, there will be things that will come in between. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but it's not going to affect it that at much. At the same time, yeah. have yeah. a picture yeah. of uh, where we're going. The, the solution to being broke, or maybe I should say the uh, deliverance operation to being broke, <laughs> is planning. Like it. It's not my father, my father. Every enemy sucking my money. <laughs> uh, my father, my father. Every devil, they're stealing the money in my bank account. No, no demon is stealing your money. There is no demon stealing your money from your bank account. You are the one spending it. 
I remember I remember somebody and he said something to us one time. Mm. Uh, he said, when you are spending your money, make sure every penny you spend, write it down. Mm. At the end of the month, you will find out mm. you are the one that is the agbano of the land. <laughs> That's right. And, and you spend this amount of money on coffee, you spend this amount of money on bagel, you gave somebody $50 there, yeah, another person $20 there. Yeah. At the end of the month, you now start wondering, what did I use $1,200 for? Mm. Listen, if you are can't for it, if you are able to write all those things down, you will find out that you want that you are the one spending your money. Yeah. So you have to be very, very conscious of how you do things. You will never be broke if you plan ahead. You know how much you're supposed to spend in the house. Your wife, you know, the two of you come together like you did, mm. come together on the table, you put the whole stuff, you know, on the ground. This is how much we make, this is how much we can spend, this is how much we save, this is mutual fund, this is for children, this is for emergency, this one is for vacation, this is for Nigeria, and this is for the big project we are doing. And you have it out like that. And you must make sure that you live a life of sacrifice. It is not every time that you want to buy something that you buy it. There are some things, there are some shoes that must, that must you just window shop and just go. Have it inside your head that you bought it and be wearing it in your dream. <laughs> For real. Be wearing the shoes in your dream. There are some bag LV bags and whatever. Carry the bag in your dream. Alright? Don't buy them for real. Go to the shopping mall, pass through the glass. Look inside and say, ah, Mudira bag here. And then when you sleep at night, be, be carrying the bag in your dream. You see, you have to sacrifice for real. <laughs> yeah, you have to in your dream. In your dream. So, there are some cars you cannot buy. The driving the car in your dream. You know, you, you enjoy it. Like me, I make movie in my head. I make movie like me living inside Pazubenga's house. And stuff like that. And by the time I wake up, I'm satisfied. <laughs> I don't, have to put, I don't have to put myself into any kind of danger trying to do oh, stuff. Boy. So you will be delivered from being broke, okay, or, or from being poor if you can control your appetite for spending. That's right. You will I, and I have to learn that. I, and I, again, if you really, really want to be rich, you yeah. have to control your appetite for spending. God yeah. will not be bless a waster. You know, there are three, three ways of, of which we undo money. Mm. Uh, some people waste money. Yeah. Some people, I do this teaching all the time uh, in my seminars. Mm. Some people waste money. Some people spend money. Whoa. And some people invest money. Inve they use three, money. Three yeah. ways at which you use money. See mm. that you waste it. Some people, most of us, what we do is waste money. I mean, mm. you, you know, you go to the party down, now that it's a spraying gun, right? I love spraying gun. It's a shalawo, shalami, mama. You know you, shalami, baby. Latin America, you know, Latin America. Pepe, you know you, so, oh yeah, shalami of you, very much you, Pepe. I will spray you until you die. When I get home, I'll go and cry. <laughs> I, I mean, that, that's like, uh, that, you know, you just uh, enjoy the thing, just the, you know, you, at that time you forget about all the bills, you know. You are drunk already. You, will you forget about the business you want to start, the vision you have. You, yeah. know? <laughs> you, you forget about the house you want to build, oh, the land you want to buy, oh, the investment you want to make, you are just... So you 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 waste money, you know. Then you, say, you know what they say when they finish. They say to buy one lot of badeji. And I don't like that. I even look towards the kiyemaj. And I believe that some of all the Yorubas can just spend it. We just want to, you know. I mean, you know, one Baba or Mama that have died for like. How many years? Like 20 years. Yeah, we want to, want turn, to the turn, turn the back. The back side is the case. Like we have not wasted any money. We need to waste some money, you know. <laughs> and they gather people together. Ah, you know, you, you have to bring one million naira. <laughs> you bring this. They call me for one. I say, ah. <laughs> you know, the person that has gone, ah, yeah. let, me, let the soul rest him. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, so, so that is wasting of money, mm -hmm. but we should be. Uh, money is to be invested. Money is to is to be multiplied. Yeah. Uh, we should always look forward to multiplying money. Yes. Recently, I was telling my wife, I said, I really, I've been talking about it. I really want to be a millionaire that I say I want to be, you know. Mm -hmm. I want to be a millionaire, and I think I, it can happen in the next four years, mm. you know. And I said, this is the plan for it. Yeah. You know, and if both of your spouse, you know your financial plan, you can discuss it with each other all the time. I'm telling you, that is, that is a that, good there line. There is a question yeah. for you. There is a question for you here. Mm -hmm. uh, from Adiola. Wow, in, somebody in, in have been peace to Idel. Uh, <laughs> uh, that, that people that call from Nigeria, mm. 
they call from Nigeria to ask for money, money, mm-hmm. money, money, uh, hospital bills, <laughs> school fees, <laughs> and all kind of All stuff. of us get that kind of call. <laughs> so how, how can she undo that? I mean, and she got bills to pay. You got bills to pay. Now, so, some people in Nigeria, mm. they cannot believe you when you tell them you can't pay, you can't give them. Mm. They just think that there is a tree in your backyard that always bring out money. They don't believe that we have to work to make money. Yeah. They don't even if you tell them you have bills, you know, don't even share that. They, they don't just believe it. That you have bills. They, they, they just don't believe it. Did you watch that video of one man who's planted quarters? <laughs> I saw it. And he watered it. And <laughs> <he> said, <laughs> <laughs> That's how they think. <laughs> yeah. no, they just think they can just jump on you. Hey, <laughs> ah, send, send 200,000 naira to me. <laughs> I mean, they'll just cut one ridiculous amount of money that in your head, your head will just blow like this. Ah. If me too, I get that kind of money, I'll, I'll, I'll do fine now. So you don't, you just, you don't help so, people at the expense of your own family, right? I don't. You know, I, I don't. I can't go broke at the expense of people. I can't do this. Yeah. I have siblings who, yeah. who have really understood me over the years that I yeah. say, you know what? You know, there are basic things that I do. Number one, I, I can help people to be independent. And okay. once I say to you, you don't come back. You know, yeah. I can help people to be independent. Don't yeah. call me. Don't call me to ask for money for food, for God's sake. Mm. Don't say I'm hungry, I cannot eat, my children cannot eat, my this. Tell me, mm-hmm. tell me that I just lost my job. I need help to start this business. Mm-hmm. Because if I can give you money for food today, yeah. tomorrow you will come back. Of course. Secondly, I don't help people that say I can't pay my rent. I need to be able to pay my rent. Yeah. Now, you know, then if I help you pay your rent now you will come back again of for course. me to pay why are you your living, rent why are you living in a house and you can't pay the rent why are you living why now? don't you go and get one bedroom so, so why, why would you go and say i need to move to another house help me and when you now ask these people how much do you have they say i don't have anything except what you want to give me I have a brother, I have a brother in Bell America. yeah you know so i have i have someone like that that will do that i said listen forget okay. it so 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 what you can do if you can't afford it say you can't you know, mm. I is you know, I mean, I've stopped taking some call. I don't respond to some some things once I know that I cannot do it. Yeah. Are people that have been asking me for money, I, I I know they are close to me, but when I have it, I'll just surprise them. Just do that. I'll just surprise I, them. Have you have you say, have you seen? Okay, I've heard this uh, of uh, a sister in Nigeria who called the brother here who is single. Uh, I need to pay my children's school fees, and the guy will just send the money. I need to pay this one. The guy was saying uh, later, probably like about five years down the road, the sister called and said, I need a cow. He said, What do you want to use it for, sister? I said, uh, yeah, We just build one small house that we want to dedicate. <laughs> we want to dedicate and do housewarming. So I, I need a cow. a cow to support his kid. A cow. A cow. A cow. A cow. Yeah. A cow. <laughs> that was when the brother woke up. <laughs> he woke up sharp, sharp. He woke up sharp, sharp. like, What? Me, that mean, America don't even have a land. I've been, paying your, them. I've been paying your children's school fees for the past five years, and now you're telling me you have a small house. When the brother landed in Nigeria, it wasn't a small house, it was a big mansion. Yeah. With his money. With his money. I have one that this guy will always be sending, and him and his wife and three children, they live in the basement in New York. Mm-hmm. And he'll be sending money, all the money they make, sending it to all these people in Nigeria. Uh-huh. Then suddenly, he lost his job. Wow. They were struggling. These people call, they will curse him. My, my wife now. Better greet her now. Hey, mama, thank you, thank you for sure. Wow, thank you for releasing Pastor Shola. She we are me. enjoying she him. She released here. me. She released me. <laughs> ah, thank I, I, you. I, I got released. <laughs> I got released. That is a very powerful release. Oh. <laughs> I've been Next sleeping. time you are coming together, I've been sleeping I'll well. You. I've been sleeping so well. No question. Anywhere. No. Hello, what are you doing? Well, hello, I know, I know they for that one. You do, you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the most serious look. We appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, thank you for releasing so me. So very much. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. I know what it means. Wow, wow. I, but, I mean, going back to that that uh, that point. Yeah. This the guy lost his job. Mm-hmm. I know them very well. And things were so difficult, some of us are trying to help them. Mm-hmm. And these people will come. Mm-hmm. And this, they don't pick up them, they will leave a voice message. He plays so many voice messages for me. They started cursing him. 
Wow. They started abusing him. They, they, they nearly destroyed his reputation. Wow. Why? Because he keeps servicing them. He's yeah. the one that is making sure. So they, 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 they have depended on them him. And on him. They depend on him so much that they just sit down waiting for the money and to come. American for that Christmas. So when the money don't come again, they got mad. They got mad and started causing. So please, hey. I tell, I tell my young girl, I said, I lived in Nigeria before, I didn't die now. Mm -hmm. You know, don't start behaving to me that you want to die. Yeah, they can't die. You know, you know I mean, you know, you will survive. You will, you will be very surprised. Your brother will tell you to bring you, to bring bring him a phone. And you, you bought a little Samsung phone and then you took <laughs> it to Nigeria. You find out that they already have iPhone 11 <laughs> or iPhone 45. And she's carrying about 45 all around when you are busy carrying one Nokia all around here in America, you know. trying to save your money. All right, so when you are married, listen, if you are still single, you can be sending money to them. I don't care. But the moment you are married as a woman or as a man, I believe that the two of you must actually sit down and think about your life. Mm. Your family first. Your own family, your nuclear family first. first. Your wife, your children, yourself. Mm. You guys must first of all be well serviced before going home. And that was why I said it. Uh, many people living in basement here in America, and you go to Nigeria, you are building a mansion mm -hmm. in Nigeria, and you only go to that mansion once every five years. You stay there for two weeks, and then you come back. That's a useless, stupid life. That's Unless you have a mindset or a plan to relocate later mm -hmm. to Nigeria, that's good. But if you don't have that plan to relocate to Nigeria, number one, those kids that you have, they are not going to Nigeria with you. Mm -hmm. And don't force them to go there. Mm -hmm. They are going to become miserable. There is nothing at this moment in Nigeria. Everybody's trying to leave the country, mm -hmm. all right? So you don't want to force your children to go with you. So you first of all give your own children, your wife, a good accommodation here in America. Let them wake up and sleep in a good house. Let them drive good cars. Let them go to good school, schools. Let them eat well. That's right. Okay? And then when there is surplus, you can go to Nigeria and build a vacation house, a very small bungalow with a swimming pool mm -hmm. right there. That by the time you go there, you open the door, you go in, do whatever you want to do in Nigeria, and then you lock your door and come back. All right? And if you want to do business in Nigeria, you can do business also. Build houses there, rent them out, and collect your money, even though the money is not that great. If you are building a house in Ibadan, or building it anywhere in Obomosho, <laughs> it's only 100,000 Naira per year. 100,000 Naira per, per year is like $300. You are collecting $300 a year. Is that not a stupid business? <laughs> Unless you want to save your money in Nigeria, when you go there, you spend it. All right, that's a good one. But the moment you are married, use your money to first of all take care of your wife and children. That's right. Then after, you can actually remember your brother, your uncle, your whatever. There are some men out there. At the expense of your own family, you go and do big man in Nigeria. You are sending money to your uncle to send his own children to university. And your own children are here languishing in poverty. You are using the money you're supposed to use to pay house rent. You are sending it to your parent to buy a car. Mm. Or because, ah, oh, mommy, well, America, you want mm. to prove that so that when you go yeah. home, you feel big. That is another thing. You are a stupid man. Trying to prove a yeah. point. You are a stupid man. You that know? stupid ego will kill you one day. <laughs> I will advise your wife to, to knock you out and, and kick you out and change the padlock. I'm telling you, I will advise the person. You know, one, woman, one woman wrote me a letter today. I was so happy. She said she has been in an abusive relationship for a long time. And, you know, for the past seven years, she's been thinking of how to get out. But she couldn't. Mm. And luckily, she stumbled on my video on Monday. Wow. Monday. Today, what is today? Monday. Today's Monday. Last week, last Monday. Week, Monday. She stumbled on my video last week, Monday. And she watched the video like about four, five, six times. And the fuse inside her head just blew out. Boom. Wow. And she just packed all her load and everything <laughs> with her children. And they moved to a better house, a better place. He said, Pastor, since that Monday till today, I am so happy and so relieved. I'm no longer afraid. My kids are happy and all that stuff. All right? That's what I do. Hmm. If a man is not ready to be responsible, you are not ready to be able to take care of your family. Or then, being abusive. Or being abusive. I'm telling you, you, you don't deserve that woman. Hmm. Or if you're a woman also, you are not ready to help your husband to achieve. You don't deserve the man. We are all supposed to be... You see, the marriage... Pastor Benga's marriage is working because he agreed to marry the woman. He agreed to stay in the relationship and he's trying his best to be a very good husband. You cannot try. 
You can't just be just running all around the place and be knocking all women all around the place and be expecting yourself to be called a husband. Stupid husband. <laughs> all right, you're very sure, stupid husband. You are not thinking of how yeah. you can actually cater for the need of your family. Oh, your family, they are living inside a stupid house and your own patient is on. Oh, why are you native? You are your native and the ghetto will come out and you go to Wasi. <laughs> You go to Wasi, you won't be drinking in Latin America. And you're spending, <laughs> and you're spending money. And you're spending stupid money. <laughs> and I, you are stupid. Your head is not correct. <laughs> your head is not correct. We say, oh, money is causing problem in the relationship. Money mm -hmm. is causing problem. Money shouldn't cause problem in relationship. Mm -hmm. All right? Money is not supposed to be part of relationship. It's supposed to just be part of what we use to make relationships more better. better. So you as a man supposed to be committed to your wife, you wife supposed to be committed to your husband. And then when you guys may make money, it's supposed to be our money. Okay? And then when it's our money, you're going to be able to spend it the correct way. Okay? Let's first of all take care of the family. Bills are paid. We're not going to be kicked out of the house. The car, car I mean, we paid the car note. We, we insurance paid. Everything paid. All right? By the time all of that stuff has been paid for and stuff like that, and you have a little money left, you know, and stuff like that, you can take care of yourself by going to buy Gucci. Mm -hmm. You see, some people, they go to the mall. They go and buy polo shirt for $95. Wow. Can I slap red mine to your head? <laughs> Are you normal at all? It's all because you want to be a big man. Say, ah, uh, Messi is moving around. So I'm buying my shirt in Messi. The same polo shirt you bought for $95, some people are buying it for $15 at the, at the uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, outlets. <laughs> okay, and they, they go and buy it. So Pastor, you are, though, they can do it too, mm. as long as they take care of other stuff. No, they can do it. <laughs> I don't want them to do it. They have to be smart. <laughs> they have to be smart. They have to be smart. And just go, go and go to where people are buying stuff. <laughs> go to those people there. Why for there? They're not people. <laughs> they are people now. No, I don't agree. I don't agree. You know, you if you have leftover like that, give it to your wife and say, go on, lo she, no lo she, can I look good for me and come home with a very nice body so I, I can have kiss no like that. You know that? So it will be good for you. You see, a woman will be very happy because women they love security. Like I said security. yesterday. Security. Security. They want to be sure that my kids are not gonna be send out of the house, mm -hmm. they're not going to be sent out of school, right, exactly. they want to be sure that food is going to be in the fridge, in the mm -hmm. table for the kids to eat, yeah. they want to be sure that we have a future. Yeah. You see, it's not going to be like a man that is actually running a roller coaster life that, mm -hmm. okay, let's just keep on spending, another one will come tomorrow. Women don't like a man that spend and thinking another one will come tomorrow. Mm -hmm. They love it when you save money and you're planning for tomorrow. Life insurance is very important. That's security. Yeah, life insurance is very important for them. Yes. A very nice, befitting house. You wanted to buy a house. I just remember something yeah. I wanted to say when you talk about life insurance. So many of you, you have life insurance, you have investment somewhere, and yeah. your spouse didn't know, you know about it. It's terrible. People go to all the, you know, they go at length to even build a house, buy land, yeah. build house. Mm -hmm. In Nigeria, yeah. and their spouse don't know doesn't even know anything about you, it. You, you know that stuff. That is terrible. You know what? Do we die? Uh, and it's going to be a waste. And it's going to be a waste. Somebody else is going to. Oh, you have Let money me in your Can I confess? Account. Can I confess something? Let me confess this. Like about four months ago, I decided not to put password on my phone. Mm. Because every day I wake up in the morning is a blessing. I wake when I go to bed at night. To me, it's just like, this is going to be my last day. Hmm. Formerly, I wasn't thinking like that. But just recently, like about a few months ago, I started thinking that way. Hmm. That maybe as I'm going to bed right now, today may be my last day. All right. How will my family be able to know majority of things that I do? Even though my wife has got record, but there are some other things. Yeah. You know, there's other things I do like daily that, you know, that I didn't yet, you know, given an update on. Mm -hmm. I, and they will be able to open my phone I'll be able to get into it and look at the whole stuff. And I, and I begin to ask myself that why, why did I add, why, in the first place, why did I put password in my phone in the first place? Okay? Is it because I'm having a girlfriend somewhere that I'm hiding? Is it because I'm security. doing something? You know, or what? Or tell me what? Some people will say, no, Pastor, it's because if your phone should get lost and somebody else will. But did I tell my wife the password? Yeah. If that's oh, the reason. She doesn't know. If that's the reason oh. why I put the password there, then my wife should know the password of my phone. That's true. All right, so I decided no, I'm not going to do that. Let me just open my phone up so that it, it, at the end of the day, you know, they go, go inside of it, and you know, it's not going to be a waste. Yes. So the the point is actually a very solid point. Uh, if we say we are married, 
Let's learn. If you are still hiding something, yeah. I'm not sh something is wrong. No, let's learn you the, know, I mean, the rules and regulation of marriage. Don't hide money. Uh, Pastor Shola asked me a question. Listen, a marriage is, you know, is not, no marriage is perfect. Mm -hmm. That's just it. Well, you know, no, I'm not trying to blow my horn that our marriage is perfect. I told him some story yesterday. Yeah. Uh, challenges, you know. So we all have challenges. No marriage is perfect. No. You know, but we're all trying to get better and better. Uh, you know, it, the work commitment to getting better is just the key. It's the key. The more commitment that we are committed to each other will force you to, to try to learn new things, to try to learn this, to try to learn that, mm -hmm. and to attend marriage seminar together. I was yes. so happy when we were doing marriage seminar that Saturday. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people walking together, walking in two by two. Husband and wife, husband and wife, husband and wife coming mm. in because they want to come and learn something was a beautiful to make thing. their relationship better. better. It's a commitment, of course. And they were open to talk about their challenges. Yes. And, you know, and you know how do we do this? How yeah. do we t take care of this? You know. Yeah. So it's, it's a commitment. Yeah. And once you have commitment like that, it makes things work. Yeah. You know. So so one of the um thing we you were asking me is that have you ever lied to Pastor Victoria yes. before? Yeah. And I started cracking my head. <laughs> even, my even, head. even though you said, oh. <laughs> I said I'm not sure. Is that the only job? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said I'm not sure I've ever lied to her, but I know that I have delayed information for her before. Okay. Like instead yeah, you of said that. Yeah. yes, instead of you know telling this to her now that maybe I think maybe you know I should have you know because I'm such a person that I talk a lot I can tell her anything yeah. you know but sometimes I have to hold myself in telling her some things yeah. because I know the circumstance that is going on and the nature or, of women too on yeah. the nature of women so I want to find out the right time to let her know about certain things. Or the better way to communicate it. Mm -hmm. You know, the better way to communicate it. So I take my time to communicate it to her. To her. But I don't want, I didn't really intentionally we want her to find out something before that you, before she's yourself. supposed to have known. Yeah. You know? That would be like um, you hiding something. That, so it will look like I'm hiding I have a question something. for you. Yeah. Is it Pastor Joe with me? Can someone divorce based on the fact that you are in a marriage that is not a marriage? I don't know what like that you means. said. He said that if there is no transparency in marriage, if there is no togetherness, then it's not a marriage. Yeah, he, he, I, I didn't say it's not a marriage. I say it's going to be tough, okay. and that is difficult to mm. live in that kind of marriage. But don't divorce yet. I use the word yet until you have gone because that can cause a lot of confliction, a lot of challenges, a lot of you know things that can result in a lot of things uh, uh, in marriage. Go to a counselor first. Mm -hmm. Have time for a counselor. Have somebody to sit with you to talk it over with the other person. Maybe mm -hmm. that person doesn't have only other person still have some kind of mindset somewhere that somebody have to use the password <laughs> to say the password for him or her. So you just need maybe make sure you try first. Okay, make sure you try. Go to counseling. Go to professional counselor. Mm -hmm. Have somebody to sit with both of you mm -hmm. who can understand you and talk it over. Mm -hmm. Why are you hiding this? Why is are you not being transparent? Why are you insecure? Yeah. Did you understand? So we talk about it that a lot of men these days are very, very insecure. They are. Uh, insecurity can kill your marriage. Yeah. So, you know, shave off the ego and know that, hey, if you can be in the room with the man and you sleep together every yeah. day, why can't you just you open yourself of up to each other? Then I, I why? Know. What else? Why hiding stuff? Why being you afraid know? or whatever? You know. Yeah. So if you die today, you know whatever thing you are hiding is going to come to open, and that is why so many people. When they die, that is why. That is when all the old everything gets open to the public. Somebody's got a question for you. They said uh, if you are trying to help your sister in Africa, mm. and your uncle already helped her. And she ruined the body. <laughs> she chopped out. <laughs> yeah. Now, you see that the sister is this suffering that you want to help the sister. Should you go ahead and still do so? Uh, I, I, you know, I, I don't think so. It depends. Let me use okay. the word, it depends. As the person change, and is that because I have an issue like that? Okay. You know, my mom will always tell me, ah, do he has changed. Mm -hmm. I say, I have not seen the trend that the person has changed. Okay. You know, as the person change from being a spender, mm -hmm. from winning money, mm -hmm. to being the person that is responsible. Okay. You understand? If you have seen the change 
try it. I mean, here we talk about credit, right? Does the person have a credit? Is it credit worth? Yeah. worthy? So I have a situation, a family member that once you give something, we ruin the money. So, yeah. you know, they say, oh, he has changed. He has saying that I try. I try with 10,000 naira. Mm -hmm. <laughs> try with 10,000. I have in mind to do 100,000. So I try with 10,000. Uh, mm -hmm. I say, you know what? I want to give you something to do. Mm -hmm. You know, take this thing worth 10,000 naira. Go and do it for me. Mm -hmm. Then I give the person transport money and allow us to say, okay, because you do this, I give you this. Mm -hmm. Do you know that this guy, you know, collected that 10,000 naira, in, including what I, you know, tell him to do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the support that I gave him to do that, allowance, yeah. for helping me out. Mm -hmm. He took my 10,000, didn't do what I asked him to do. Mm -hmm. And every other thing that I gave him. And up to today, didn't forfeit. I have to send somebody who is not a family, family, family leader, member, pay that person to do it. Mm -hmm. I never talk with him again. Wow. You know, so you have to find out this person really changed because he's going to do the same thing. Yeah. He's going to get the money, ruin it. And ruin it too. You know, so somebody called me again and said, I need money for free. I said, you can't ask me money for free, a family member. And I said, what do you want to do? Mm -hmm. Now, I said, I have this. Um, if somebody give you this, what can you do with it that mm -hmm. will multiply? And he told me, I can start selling. I can go to farm, buy eggs and start selling it. Buy it wholesale and sell it for the retailers in the community. And I did. I gave him, you know, 40,000 and I gave him extra 10,000 for food. And I said, This 10,000 is for food. 40,000, go and buy this egg. And he bought the egg, give me the picture. And now they are calling him a Babele in man. the whole community. And now he has to multiply it and multiply business, it yeah. and business is open. Mm -hmm. So that is what you want to do. You want to make sure that the person is first of all responsible. He has mm -hmm. changed. If you yes. keep hearing that kind of so, and you can try the person with something small to find out if he has changed or not. Josephine, Josephine uh, Oshodi. Uh, Josephine Oshodi. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, we, we are about to finish right now. Josephine, uh, I, will, I, will, I will answer your question by the grace of God, but it's going to be very fast. Listen, the issue is this. Marriage or no marriage has nothing to do with you making heaven or not making heaven. Very okay? not, not, No, it doesn't. All right? So, but we thank God for everybody. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching this particular broadcast. <laughs> I want to thank Pastor Binga for coming yeah. on the show with me this morning. Uh, by the grace of God, I'm going to be on my way to New York very soon. Yeah, uh, very soon. Said, uh, yeah. We are going to actually do a nice broadcast when I get to New York because I want this soon. You know what I'm saying? So, thank you very much, everybody, and God thank bless you. Thank you, everyone, for joining show us. us. Show us some love and God bless you. Share, share. Share it. <laughs>